at the Lincoln Sutton for A Night in Paris, a fundraiser hosted by the Steve Peroff team for the Georgina Community Food Pantry. Lots of great food, company, and entertainment. Let's go inside and check it out. Last year's night in Italy netted the pantry over $16,000. event and we have one of the premier sponsors here Steve Peroff's here team Peroff Keller Williams hi welcome thank you for having me so tell us about uh, first of all we want to talk about that event because it was a fantastic event you have the results for the event so yeah let um, us in. actually we have them there posted there okay. if you want to have a look yeah, at them yeah, yeah. Yeah. it was a Saturday April the 7th and uh, we actually uh, uh, brought in over thirty thousand dollars uh, wow. in total of which twenty one thousand went right back to the pantry the other paid the expenses for the night uh, we sold out the event pretty well immediately because most of the people that were there last year wanted to come, come this back. year right. with a few extras mm -hmm. and I wish we could have a larger room um, but uh, we had uh, over 137 paying guests uh, we sold 43 frying pans and the idea behind that is that the food pantry will teach their clients how to make one pan meals oh, so what really? a great what idea a so uh, you know, each, that. each that pan is. went for a hundred dollars and nice. uh, and then we still have tickets left for our, our draw which is going to raise another twenty thousand dollars if we sell out nice. um, Man, for great the, uh, nice. uh, um, a trip to Paris Tickets can be purchased at our office, okay, um, that's or good if you just put your ear to the ground, there's a lot of people out there with books yeah. of tickets selling right now. Uh, $25, there's only 1,000 tickets printed, so you've got a one in a 1,000 chance, which are really good odds. There you go. Love get it. out and there, get you purchasing know what? I love ticket. that you're involved with this cause, that you really have taken it on. But let's move, I want to move to what we wanted to talk about today, because sure. you're in the process of selling your family home. Right. So. I mean, this is a this is a, a really different experience, mm -hmm. and now you're seeing it from the other side. So you've always helped families do it. Now, yeah, over guess the what? over the thirty years, <laughs> yeah, you know, mm -hmm. we, we've helped people do it. And sometimes you take it for granted, or you just think, okay, let's get over this hump. But yeah. when you do it for yourself and you're involved with it firsthand, there's a lot of emotion that goes along with oh that God, as well. My God, so, your history yeah. and your absolutely. family stuff, and yeah, absolutely, yeah, that's huge. absolutely, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, you know, at some point in our lives, you know, we all have to step up and help, mm -hmm. um, you know, our, our either our families or friends, mm -hmm. you know, to make this kind of a move. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and, and you've broken it down into steps. Yeah, I've got a it's bunch of steps there. Up on the, yeah. behind us. I mean, the first step, actually, which is not part of, of this, was that we actually had to, my mom had to move into a retirement home finally. I mean, she was just over 88 years old. She had fallen. She had... Uh, had an accident and it just was not possible going back to a two-story house so right. that was the first step right. and then uh, it's been a 16-month journey since then oh, wow. uh, because she had to be emotionally ready to mm -hmm. let the house go she had to decide yeah. that she wasn't going back oh, yeah. so that's all part of that process as well yes um, you know from there I, I would think the first step and I, actually it was my last step but then I moved it to the top was you know to hire a reputable realtor to work with you yeah. Because really, that's where it all starts. I mean, if you're selling the home, because they have access to um, um, different sources of information. They have access to individuals that could help you with the process. Uh, it could also save you or make you thousands as well mm -hmm. right. on your purchase. So right. depending on how you go about doing it. So, mm -hmm. but purging is uh, is the oh. big deal, and that's what takes oh, the thanks. longest time. So we sort of started this process. I mean, my <clears> mom did me. a pretty good job of. Um, taking care of the house. The house was in excellent condition. However, she saved a lot of things, like newspaper articles and things like that. And we found them everywhere, you know, sort of under chairs. <laughs> yes. and that, oh, right, and tucked into drawers. Tucked into yes. drawers. Yes. And yeah. So we had to yeah. go through all of that stuff. Yeah. I mean, right. that was the first thing to go through. Right. Yeah. And, it's amazing what and you find. Was she with you while you did this? Some days she was. Okay. Uh, I preferred that she wasn't because 
a lot of things we didn't have to keep. It wasn't that important. It may have been important to her at that time. At the time. You know, yes, exactly. Um, it's a it's hard to let go. Now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, and it wasn't that we were just getting rid of it. I mean, we no. went through yeah. it and tried to mm -hmm. keep the things that were important, and then we moved on from there. Uh, we did endless dump runs. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, you know, you could call in a big professional company, or you could find the local guy in the area, yeah. which is what we did, and yeah. he was very helpful because then he turned us on to other people. I you know, you have to decide what you're going to give away, what you're going to keep, what you're going to give away, what family members want, right. yeah. um, what does is, what is your mother want or your father or whoever yeah. is, yes. is still what with us, yeah. what, what goes what with them, the yeah. have, right. Or, yeah. In our case, yeah. she's got a one bedroom apartment, so we had already moved those items out a year ago. Uh, but then there's also things to give away that you know you're not going to keep yourself, but you know, one man's... You know, garbage There's is another a, man's treasure. treasure. Yes, so yeah, Salvation exactly. Army was uh, the beneficiary of a lot of a lot of this stuff yeah. as well. So we didn't throw it all out. And you can also put it on Virage Sale, Kijiji, Facebook markets. You know, consignment stores, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. We hired trades to come in. Um, you know, either to paint or just to do more just minor so repairs. Yeah. That's right. Um, uh, we had cleaning services in. Yes. We just couldn't do, I mean, she didn't live in the house for a year, so right. you know, we really wanted to give it a good scrub down, which we did, and it looks fantastic now. Uh, we brought our stager in yes. uh, to set things up, because you really want to uh, uh, let buyers identify with the house. Because it's uh, going to be a younger <clears throat> buyer, right? right? Like a family yeah, or you, something. You know, you don't want them to, it's hard to see your, yourself living in someone else's home. Yes. So you try to uh, neutralize everything. Yeah. And I think we did a pretty good job at that. Mm -hmm. And then there's the whole sales process, and that's where the, the agent came in, but I moved the agent to the top because it could help you with all those other steps. Right, right. right. Um, right. We are actually looking at having a, a seminar on this because I think there's a lot of people in need out there in the community. Absolutely. So if anybody's that's interested, a uh, we haven't that's set a, a date idea. yet, but we'll certainly get it out there. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And then there's the after sale. You know, because you still have to move everything out that you've left in the house. Yes. Uh, there's the issue of whether you get a storage unit. We talked a little bit of that off yeah. the air. Yeah. Because that takes a lot of time and energy. And really, what are you going to do with that stuff? Yeah. Maybe you should let it go now versus yes. later. Oh. And then the last thing, what to do with the proceeds as they yeah. come in. Yeah. Super. That's yeah. Cool. That's right. Thank you, sir. A lot to shove into five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. information. Yeah. Thank you so much. Stay with us. Uh, more on Georgina Life. Hospital. Georgina to talk about their fundraising endeavors.